returned to the director. I decided against helping Master Kua. Director Casto won't be pleased, but perhaps he'll understand my reasoning. Oh. So we need to go to... Uh, what's it called? Nakataka. God, I thought they were going to attack me. Do you know what? Before we do this, let's go on foot, man, because we have a lot of uh, stuff to explore on this island, looks like. Koto's canopy. Uh, you're cutting your way through the dense hilly jungles of, to the west of Nakataka when, the stumble, when you stumble upon a small campsite. At first it merely appears abandoned, two tents present, uh, present have collapsed, but then you see the bodies. Two corpses torn apart, mostly eaten, sprawled across the dark earth. Search the area. Uh, the campsite has been thoroughly destroyed. The tents like crushed as if under some great foot. A kettle rests on its side. The bodies, what's left of them, bear the tattered remnants of the robes and holy symbols of the dawn stars. Oh, damn. A handful of arrows pin cushioned trees to the south of the camp where they struck trunks. Uh, the bark bears a thin layer of ice. Some of the tracks. Nice. You recognize the large, uneven, roundish tracks as those of a lurker. A massive con conglomeration of carnivorous plants. Oh. Such a presence of spirits. Focus your watcher abilities, opening yourself to the presence of any lingering essence. A vision tugs at you, dragging you forward like the rushing current of a flooded river. You see the creatures nigh twice the height of a human standing on the ruins of your campsite, eating the corpses of your fellows, vines and moss hang their amorphous bark covered form. Waves of anger and fear wash over you, anger and fear, but also faith in Aethus returned, and with a prayer on your lips, you fire arrows from your enchanted bow, each as cold as sleet. Oh my god, give me this bow. Tell me I get this bow. Oh my fuck. Search for salvage. A few hides, antlers, and other trophies lie around the camp. Okay. A small chest buried in the collapsed tent contains a variety of fresh goods. Oh my god. Search the area. We've already done this, right? Yeah. No! Oh. Uh, want to put that lamp of yours to use, Yoti? <laughs> Head bow, Yoti sways the lantern for a long while and harvest, providing ample time for the missionaries' souls to accept the pool of the light. Okay, let's um, bury the bodies. Follow the tracks. Creatures seem to have put no effort into hiding their tracks, uh, and you easily follow them deeper into the jungle. The path enters a clearing, and you almost walk into it without recognizing the danger. 
Uh, from the edge of the foliage you see numerous lurkers among the few bulbous dank spores. The primordials remain almost entirely still, seeming no more threatening than the trees that surround them. Use the spyglass. In addition to the uh, lurkers and dank spores, your spyglass reveals a few smaller small, uh, sporlings lurking in the undergrowth. Furthermore, you see the corpse of a young elven woman, her right leg horribly twisted, the body grasps a bow in its right hand, the intricately tooled wood of uh, which appears to shimmer with a fine layer of frost. Oh my god, please have insane penetration. Or just damn, I don't know. Just be good. Sneak closer. Oh, it's gonna go bad. Yeah. Fuck, man. Should use dear Billy. Now she's injured. God damn it. Okay, where's the uh Where's this Elven woman? Minus twenty reflex, that's not good at all. You might want to duck. Don't you do it. Yeah. I'm going to save that actually. These two. I'll be chopping you to chum, chum. Or just one. Tell me. Sendere, I cannot. Where are you going, Ansi? Oh, that's not fucking good. I tell you right now, that is not good. Lava room beyond six. Yeah. I think that's beyond me. Oh, yeah. What for, Cap? I'll be chopping you to chum. Chum. <laughs> I think... I think it's poison. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's poison. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> How do you like that? Oh my god, I'm gonna go nuts. I will go nuts. Right between the eyes. What's it uh, doing? It's doing something. Oh. Yeah. Can you come here? No. Jesus. Do this then. Oh. Go. 
Kue? Bemet Gong Swellias. I feel clean. Oh no, he charmed us. I forgot about this stupid ability. God damn it. Now you be right screwed. Watch me work. My turn. Have some of this. I can't find a weak spot. I wonder where the elven woman is then. Kind of makes me think, you know? Fuck it, you know what, I'm doing this. I'm doing it. We'll do it to these two. Don't do it. Watch me work. My turn. You might want to duck. Quick, point me at Palagina before I hurl. Why Palagina? Come on. Nice. I what I sow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That is fucking OP. What can I do you for? Actually OP. Uh, how? Almost yes? dead. Go attack it quick. Yeah. What for, Cap? <laughs> I'll be more than half handy, you are. Sephron's become a little beast. How can I help? How do you like that? I have my mark. Ah. Ow. Ah, oh, they knitted me, Cap. Hi. That's so good. Honestly, it's so good. That would be enough. Love will be on mm -hmm. seek. I have my mark. Boy. Tell me. Happy to oblige. I'm here. These ends are in for a while. Can I help? Have some of can't put a dent in it. There's one down. And there's a second. Oh. Good. Maybe just this once. Wait. Four to seven damage. What? Fires multiple projectiles at slightly reduced damage. Okay. Of course, darling. Let's rest. We've not rested in a while. I need to have a look at this. 
It is a war bow though, so that's a good thing. It looks awesome too. What can we do to enchant it? Garland's breath. Cast forth the breath of the ice troll Garland attacks enemies in a cone, dealing freeze damage, encasing them in ice and petrifying them. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Fucking doing this. 30k, why not? Sixty K. Oh, I will save that one. So I don't see these abilities. Oh, so you get Garland's Rake on scoring a crit. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Oh There's a fucking right. pet here, Maybe. Trixie. I'm guessing it was your owner that dropped this, this then. Poor thing. That was pretty cool. I think I'm going to explore this entire island. Anything here? No. Hmm. Teoramunga. I think we've been there already. Rao O'Hara. To the west of Nekataka, rolling verdant plains stretch towards the mountains. Spiked plants and bright flowers punc uh, punctuate the emerald green tall grass. The occasional tree dots the landscape, broad foliage casting shade like a parasol. You crest a rise to see a group of reptilian figures roughly a hundred feet down the hill. Hunched atop a broad flat stone, the Zorops chirp and squawk. Use a spyglass. Through the lenses of your spyglass, you make out a party of ten or so Zorips. Several are poking at grubs with long sticks under the guidance of one of their shaman. In the center of the circle, two of the grubs snap at one another. Egged on, but oh my god. They're doing grub fucking fights. Uh, grub fight club right now. Sneak closer to observe. Damn it. Oh my god, can we actually, like, do this? Small creatures produce bows and spears, which they brandish threateningly at you. They make no move to attack, however. Can Elowen here join in on your grub game? Oh my god. 
They examine Elwyn warily, the one in the feathered headdress squawks, raising both skinny fists towards the sky and the others join in. Go easy on them. Moves into the center of the circle as one of the Zoras places a grub on the ground. Elwyn circles the grub and it slowly slivers towards the, the bee snapping its tiny mandibles. Jesus! The Zhaup Shaman steps forward, feathered headdress swaying. It chitters, points towards the horizon, then points towards a pouch hanging from its waist. The other Zarups nod. You have no idea what you're trying to say. Uh, sure. Zarup roots through its pouch, glancing between you and the con contents of its bag. You're not sure whether it's suspicious of you or trying to judge its own belongings. It may be both. Eventually it settles on something and withdraws it. It takes a few furtive hops towards you, sets a small dragon figurine before you and then hops back. Okay, thank you, I'm going now. That was so bizarre, I love it. We got... Ah, oh, we can't even look at the inventory apparently. Ah oh, no, I think it's just glitched. What a fucking surprise. What's here? It's actually a location. God, this is my fourth coffee of the night and I tell you what, it's overkill. Actually overkill. Nothing to worry about. What just fucking nearly killed us? Rocks and debris have collapsed into this mechanism, rendering it inoperable. I've marked my target. Okay. Vax has got nothing on me. We're not alone. Holy shit! Has that got two heads? Oh my god. We're doing it. Uh, let's rest. Dude, nothing's working. Okay, there we go. When the fuck is Aloth gonna talk to me again? Are these just going to attack me, like, straight away? Or can I talk to them? Oh, I think I can't see you, you sneaky How bastard. Ayrton. Who's this guy? Just a cowrel trader. Okay. Let's see what this does. I want to put a dent in it. All right. What can I this do? This is eleven for? armor. Jesus. No fucking way. Arthex 
Did he just go invisible? I think he might have just went invisible. I can't believe this thing has two heads. It's actually insane looking. Oh. He has 11 armor. Uh, what does this do? I won't do this because I don't know what it does. <laughs> Us I don't think this. I don't know. I'm getting the feeling that this bow is not good. I really am. Six. We're dropping like flies. Oh my god! What just happened? What the fuck just happened? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoops. I killed her. Um, I mean, she's fucking useless anyway. I can't lie. All thick, worth and raw. Captain. Fare thee well, Cog Swabber. This is going terribly yeah. right now. I mean... We could try it. <laughs> Might be terrible, but... I think we're dead. Only takes a finger to blow her away. Mm-hmm. How do you like that? I've got an and this is getting us nowhere. Okay. Curses. You missed him. Why am I not surprised? Boy, watch oh, that was literally... That was literally perfect. Where I placed that, that was perfect. Happy to oblige. Awesome. Uh, are you bloodied? You are. Let's blessed harvest you. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Feels like wading through mud up to my armpits. Let's do this. Um. Only takes a finger to blow her away. My turn. Go for the arm. This is getting us nowhere. Okay. So the normal attack is what does the, uh, the special effects. Oh, there is another one. Fuck, I keep forgetting they can go invisible. Very annoying, that is. Oh, nice, he killed the grub. It didn't even mean to. 